it's too early. You're at the airport and my boarding pass was not loading properly on my phone because the person at centre didn't take a good enough picture. So it's just what you need at 4 30 in the morning. Hey guys and welcome to the latest vlog. We are currently situated at Barcelona Airport after a pleasant two hour Ryanair flight from Manchester and we're waiting to commute to the beautiful hills of Andorra. However, there is a slight problem. The promoters booked a coach ticket for vlogging at 12.15 and, and we landed at like nine. So whoever did the maths there, you sacked. So we had tried to get an earlier one. The guy was having none of it. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, long story short, we're now waiting for the 11.15 one, and it's now 10.15, hopefully we get on that. And if that fails, I'm gonna be waiting for the original 12 o'clock one. Decent morning, I'm tired, but yeah, it's like a proper pilgrimage to Andorra, it seems. Keep you updated on the next part of the trip. I reckon it's gonna be a beer to kill some time. Said I wasn't gonna do it, but what else do you fucking do when you're waiting for a bus? The biggest pint I've ever seen. I haven't got the biggest hands, but I'll turn you down in that. There, yeah. We could not get on the 11 o'clock um, bus. We had to wait till 12:15. So we're now walking to try and get it. But yeah, hopefully get on this because it's supposedly a four-hour transfer. But everyone's predictions are um, it's going to take three hours, supposedly. So yeah, the sun's now shining in Barca and the snow's gonna be falling in Andorra. Well, let's just hope we can get on this. Hopefully there's room. I've had one beer. Um, I could do with some sleep to be fair, so let's see how we get on. First morning in Andorra. And what a beautiful, beautiful sight I've got in front of me. The folks are probably going out. So we up some food last night. As you can tell, I'm super out of breath. I think, I'm assuming, it's the altitude. Maybe I sound like a fucking idiot, but I'm finding it really hard to breathe while walking up a hill. Um, we did have a few beers last night. Nothing crazy. Yeah, today's the day of skiing. It's an unreal place. The little village is a bit. Ibiza, San Antonio, might be a love vibe. But for a festival and a ski, it's just what we need. I'm just gonna try and find a black coffee, somewhere I can potentially get some kind of protein-based breakfast, as I'm not really uh, in the mood for any pastries. I ate like a fucking pig yesterday which I'm annoyed about because I've been training really well the last two weeks, well, this whole year, to be honest. My diet was really good the last two weeks and I definitely put all that weight back on in a day because I didn't even do any exercise yesterday. Must have at least 4,000 calories. Just basically eating pastries, cakes, uh, chocolate, and packets. We're on holiday, but also, myself a shit. So black coffee this morning, I reckon. Stay pretty light till about 10, 11. I think we're doing a ski lesson, so to be honest, I might not eat until after the ski lesson. That's probably the best option. And then I can pick out a bit more, but I don't want to start feeling like an absolute toad. So yeah, we're doing skiing today, playing at six. We have some clips to the boys, once I'm with them, and we'll have a fun day. I think it's gonna be a good vlog. <laughs> One of the slopes, guys. Me and Ben did a lesson. I'm now being educated by the maestros themselves. What's on the right? 
and we're taking on the Pas de la Casse, Pas de la Casse mountains like no one's ever done before. I would say I'm feeling nine out of ten confident, you know. Nine out of ten. I think I've the, yeah, the, the outfit as well. I think the outfit is playing mind games as well on the slopes. The slopes like been daring to try and trip me up. I've had one little slip, but it was a minor. So all in all, great morning. The gear's looking good, but the helmet hurt. The food down was questionable, some mushy chicken. <laughs> um, apart from that, all good. Gonna get another espresso to keep myself caffeinated to the eyeballs. Um, and potentially, is, that, is it a tomorrow job? Are we gonna give that big one a go? Go for it today. That's the one there. Yeah, once, once you're on it, it's not too bad. It looks, it looks steeper than it is. It looks steeper than it is. Famous last words. Yeah. Tommy, look steeper than it is. Yeah, we'll see if it is. Just use, use your angles. And we'll be yeah, you'd be sound. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's fine. Are you coming, Goldie? You get fucked if you think I'm going on there. <laughs> Newsflash. I did the big slope. It was way worse than I thought. I actually had the confidence that I thought it would sound, but I got humbled by the snow. Seb, you had a first-hand reaction. What's the match report? Uh, the top was actually really, it was really steep at top, but he handled it well. A couple of tumbles, which is expected. Uh, and then in the middle section, he really picked it up, mate. So, well done. Very good work. And my own thoughts? It was pretty good, to be fair. I thought you did really well. Uh, yeah, it was fucking really scary, well. man. It's a tough one. It is a tough run. All things considered, considering that was, uh, what, you've had two lessons? Two lessons, just took that yeah. fucker on. Jumped straight from a green to a red. Smashed it. Easy. Basically a black. Something. Something. I'm basically just a raw dog. I'm just a raw <laughs> dog out there. Honestly, on the way up, I had a coffee, I had raw anxiety. I thought I was having a panic attack. As I was going up, I what have I got myself into? Then when I was on my arse in the snow freezing cold, I thought, what the hell am I doing here? But now we're back down. Half pints on me for everyone's patience. And I reckon we'll have a little, one more whiz around. Then it's uh, turbo time, I guess. Two of the ski, conquering fears on the ski lift, yeah, yeah. vlogging, slightly rough from last night, um, but it was an early finish, what? finished playing at eight, and then we went by, went back for 10. So we are just enjoying it. I've conquered my fear of the ski lifts, which was the fucking biggest scare of my life yesterday. There's two things I don't like in life, it's heights, and I would say going fast. I'm a bit of a shit house, I'm not gonna lie. So skiing is a combination of going fast at high altitude down steep things. So I'm conquering fears bit by bit. I'm still a long way off going on that fucking thing I did yesterday. That was scary as hell. But we're getting there. I can now get my phone out on the ski lift without chitting myself, so yeah. So vlog, we're parked up. The Napural Spritz. Ben's just ended up on the red slope. How was that, pal? Uh, risky, but we might go as well. He survived. You just gotta do it, I think, is the thing with skiing. Well, that's what I've learned anyway, just fucking do it. So I don't know, the visibility is not great. And in English, that means that when you're skiing down, you can't really see the lines of like the trails, the terrier. Because when someone said the visibility is bad, I almost thought it was like, oh, it'd be too misty and shit, but. It's almost just like everything fades into one, so. Um, I think we're debating doing this blue one. I'm not sure it's a wild idea, if I'm honest. Uh, but we'll see. If I'm completely honest, I think Saturday drink Aperol Spritz is a way better shout. Less um, risk. Way less risk. Way less risk. <laughs> yeah, life's looking good. Any, any thoughts of the day, sir? What's, how's the day going? Uh, very chill today in comparison to yesterday. I think we're feeling it a little bit from last night. A bit flagging. Yeah. But, uh, we're cracking on. Yeah. We've got a job to do, haven't we? So. We're here for work, strictly business. I think um, I think I need to get a bit pissed before the gig later because I'm rough, I've man. I've got a full bottle of uh, the 
Uh, yeah, place. I've got a bottle of Patron, some to, um, some Ciroc. But the thing is, I've got a 6M coach tomorrow for my flight, so. Uh, worry about that. Too. Worry about that, but the thing is, it finishes early, innit? It's a marathon, not a sprint. Correct. Is that the word? No, it's a sprint today, not a marathon. We, uh, um, we got out of the blocks quickly yesterday. Yes, there was a sprint, wasn't it? Yes, a sprint. I think skiing sprints, you do it in sprints because you need to get up and ski, don't you? So, so far, after your experience, would you fancy doing it again? I would definitely ski again. It's, it's unreal. I think what the problem is, I've not got the fire in the belly like everyone else because I'm restricted to the same slope, but I see the fun in going exploring the whole kind of. So, I'm thinking maybe if you could ski to different villages and stuff like that, it'd be more fun. I'm really enjoying the skiing part, but. I'm now starting to feel the limitations of going up and down the same thing. That's good, that means you're progressing. Right? Yeah, it's almost like going to a wacky warehouse, you know, and you go up and down the side a few times and you're a kid, then you're like, right, mum, that's enough. Let's all get some food. Do you know what I mean? It's probably a good, good, good analogy. Good analogy. I think we'll do one more ski, potentially, maybe. I think we'll do one more. Um, I don't think the blue's a good idea, but I'll check in a bit later. <laughs> Tumble the holiday, or you did yeah, yesterday? Yeah, only tumble, really. We've only been there two days, but. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, how was today, pal? Yeah, very good. Much improved, even better. Nice one. Was it, though? He's the cameraman as well for the reel, the maximum vibe, vibe reel, which has now gone viral by the time you watch this vlog. So, great day, mate. Great day. And Baldy, oh, smashed it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, good shit. Pints. Think we're gonna get a Jaeger bomb in as well in a sec. 